Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video on understanding the NIST framework. Let's get started. The NIST cybersecurity framework is a powerful tool to organize and improve your cybersecurity program. It is a set of guidelines and best practices to help organizations build and improve their cybersecurity posture. The framework puts forth a set of recommendations and standards that enable organizations to be better prepared in identifying and detecting cyber attacks and also provides guidelines on how to respond, prevent, and recover from cyber incidents. Drafted by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, this cybersecurity framework addresses the lack of standards when it comes to cybersecurity and provides a uniform set of rules, guidelines, and standards for organizations to use across industries. The NIST cybersecurity framework is widely considered to be the gold standard for building a cybersecurity program. Whether you're just getting started in establishing a cybersecurity program, or you're already running a fairly mature program, the framework can provide value by acting as a top-level security management tool that helps assess cybersecurity risk across the organization. Let's understand the five pillars for the framework. The framework categorizes all cybersecurity capabilities, projects, processes, daily activities into five core functions. First is identify, that is, which all assets and processes needs protection. Next is protect, that is, to implement appropriate security controls to ensure right protection. Next is detect, that is, to implement monitoring infrastructure to monitor incidents in your network. Next is respond, that is, to develop technique and process to contain cyber threats and incidents. And last one is recover, that is, to implement the appropriate processes to restore capabilities and services impacted due to a cyber incident. Let's understand these core functions in detail. First function is identify. The identify function is focused on laying the groundwork for an effective cybersecurity program. This function assists in developing an organizational understanding to manage cybersecurity risk to systems, people, assets, data, and capabilities. To enable an organization to focus and prioritize its efforts, consistent with its risk management strategy and business needs, this function stressed the importance of understanding the business context, the resources that support critical functions, and the related cybersecurity risks. Essential activities in this group include identifying physical and software assets to establish the basis of an asset management program. Identifying the organization's business environment including its role in the supply chain. Identifying established cybersecurity policies to define the governance program as well as identifying legal and regulatory requirements regarding the cybersecurity capabilities of the organization. Identifying asset vulnerabilities, threats to internal and external organizational resources, and risk response activities to assess risk. Establishing a risk management strategy including identifying risk tolerance. Identifying a supply chain risk management strategy including priorities, constraints, risk tolerances, and assumptions used to support risk decisions associated with managing supply chain risks. The next function is protect. The protect function outlines appropriate safeguards to ensure delivery of critical infrastructure services, and supports the ability to limit or contain the impact of a potential cybersecurity event. Critical activities in this group include implementing protections for identity management and access control within the organization, including physical and remote access. Empowering staff through security awareness training including role-based and privileged user training. Establishing data security protection consistent with the organization's risk strategy. To protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. Implementing processes and procedures to maintain and manage the protections of information systems and assets. Protecting organizational resources through maintenance, including remote maintenance activities. Managing technology to ensure the security and resilience of systems, consistent with organizational policies, procedures, and agreements. The third function is detect. Detecting potential cybersecurity incidents is critical, and this function defines the appropriate activities to identify the occurrence of a cybersecurity event in a timely manner. Activities in this function include ensuring anomalies and events are detected and their potential impact is understood, implementing continuous monitoring capabilities to monitor cybersecurity events 
and verify the effectiveness of protective measures, including network and physical activities. The fourth function is respond. The respond function focuses on appropriate activities to take action in case of a detected cybersecurity incident and supports the ability to contain the impact of a potential cybersecurity incident. The essential activities for this function include ensuring response planning process are executed during and after an incident, managing communications with internal and external stakeholders during and after an event, Analyzing the incident to ensure effective response and supporting recovery activities, including forensic analysis, and determining the impact of incidents. Performing mitigation activities to prevent expansion of an event and to resolve the incident. Implementing improvements by incorporating lessons learned from current and previous detection and response activities. The last function is recover. The recover function identifies appropriate activities to renew and maintain plans for resilience and to restore any capabilities or services that were impaired due to a cybersecurity incident. Timely recovery to normal operations is impressed upon to reduce the impact from a cybersecurity incident. Essential activities for this function somewhat overlap with those of respond and include ensuring the organization implements recovery planning processes and procedures to restore systems and slash or assets affected by cybersecurity incidents, implementing improvements based on lessons learned and reviews of existing strategies. Internal and external communications are coordinated during and following the recovery from a cybersecurity incident. Using these five core functions and implementing such security controls, organization moves up the maturity level scale. Generally, the maturity levels include Tier 1, which is partial mature. Tier 2, which is, risk-informed. Tier 3, which is, repeatable. And lastly, Tier 4, which is, adaptive and continuously improving. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. If you need copy of this presentation, please email us. Thank you and all the